This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. Thank you so much for providing early access. All right, so this was, I think, the only lot you could move into when you start off without cheats. <gasps> Ooh, so there's a new mailbox and a new fence. We'll take a better look at that and the different swatches when we go into build by. So we got a cute little starter home. I like the vent. That's a nice little touch there. Looks like it's mostly base game. Um. Oh, wow. Is this a new, hold on. Is the new roof pattern have holes in it? <gasps> the actual roof itself has some, is it holes or is it just, yeah, you can kind of see inside of there. Wow, that's so cool. It's like built in sunroof. And this one has, oh, there's, you can literally see through it. Wow. Oh my God. I did not expect a texture like that. Sims. Um, incredible. <laughs> It looks like rust. I love it. I love when they do textury things. Yeah, it's almost like you can see through it. Hi. Hi, Full. Thank you for the follow. Hi, Josh. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mermaid Grotto. Yeah, like plexiglass almost. I don't know. Parts of it look like you can see through it and parts of it don't. Like here, I could definitely see into this room down here. Wow. The pack reminds you of your friend Gaia the Wolf. I miss Gaia. Hi, Morgan. Thanks for the lurk. Oh, it's because of the moon going through the roof. <gasps> I wonder if they'll release some of the song from the trailer tomorrow. You need that on Spotify. They do baby onesies. Yeah, they, well, oh, you're talking about that website. Wow. Okay, that's super cool. I gotta say, I'm very impressed. We'll check that out when we go into Build By, but what do we have here? A little bedroom, a big bedroom, bathroom dining room slash living room and kitchen yeah the roof has like clear parts in it and it also has like little holes oh so cool james did a great job with this lot let's go check out some more lots oh my god this is my favorite part i love seeing the houses and the furniture i love this is my favorite part You've had it in your head for days. It's a really good song. It is. It's such a cute starter. Well done. I love that there's actually stuff in it. I hate when they're so empty. All right. So let's check off the Vol check out the Volkov residence. I'm going straight into build mode, so I'm not too worried about the actual family and the lore and the stories. I'll let you guys check that out on your own. I'm not too interested in that. I'm definitely interested in the cast, the build by, and the builds. Ooh, man, these roof patterns. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to build. We're going to, oh, we're gonna, there's going to be so much stuff I want to do. Yeah, I'm not too into the lore myself. Really well done here with the two houses on the property, or maybe one's more of like a shed. Volkov means wolf in Russian. I didn't know that. Oh, do you think that was a nod to our Russian friends? after everything they had to go through with the wedding stories pack. You're looking at the Kiga website where you got your red panda backpack. Aww. Oh my God, I'm so excited for the cast, or the build by. I love the grungy rundown vibe of everything. It makes things look actually lifted and not picture perfect. Same, I'm like obsessed. Look, look at this curtain. I'm literally obsessed. I don't wanna look too much at the build by, but super nice build here. So it's like two houses on one lot. Nice job. Once again, James, very, very filled. I know that they are very limited on the amount of objects that they could put. And I have to say this looks incredible. All right, let's check out the next lot. The Moonwood Mill Library. Yeah, the bus bar. Oh, so excited. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Okay, so it said it's a library. Ooh, I like how he actually cut the roof off there. He was lurking in an ninja stream and got gifted a sub. Oh, I was wondering what happened. Man, so talented. Look, he even put cutouts on the wall and then used half walls to make it look like it's been cut. <gasps> look at the arches, very nice. It's like a rundown library. I want to notice that Hill of Secret lot like we did have a snowy escape. No, I wish we did. 
I know, J James is incredible. James is like the godfather of building in The Sims. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, is this like a, a drain pool? I think this was supposed to be some sort of drain pool maybe or a pond or something. Yeah, it's a drain pool. I actually have a trick to make a drain pool actually have water in it. Do you guys want to see it? I can just do it right here. So you basically, you build a basement and then you build a sub-basement underneath it. It's like an abandoned river, yeah. So basically you go here, oh no, we have to go down a level. No, you build a basement with a basement tool. I actually don't have a tutorial for this, but I should make it for you guys. Okay. So you build another room underneath the basement and then you go down here and then you build a pool in here. And then obviously there's water. Can we change the wall height or are we kind of stuck with that one? And then when you go up here, you remove the floor and it looks like the pool has been drained. See that? Let me make it the same width. Well, anyway, you get the, you get the gist. <laughs> like I sit here and build. But see, now it looks like there's literally just a little bit of water on the bottom of the pool. You definitely need tutorials. Definitely check out my tutorials. I have a lot of weird, useless or useful <laughs> Sims building tricks in my head. <laughs> yeah, just pretend it's metric. After stream, we'll check it out. Please do. All right, let's fix his little thingy here. <laughs> I don't know what I did. All right. Um, the pack is your aesthetic, right? It's really cool. I want to undo everything I did. All right. So let's check out the inside of this library. Moonwood Mills. I can't, when I say I can't build, I mean, I make square rooms with so many windows look awful. Well, you know what? I'm sure it's not awful, but if you need some help, check out the stores for sure. They'll help you out. So this is like, um, a weight like a ooh, look at these tables like a little gym and then a little rundown library over here this would be a great place for like a secret lot oh this looks really cool the way he made it look like it the insides coming the outsides coming in a double telescope double telescope and then upstairs we have it's all broken down. I think that's so cool though. Oh my gosh, James is so good at this. And then the telescope up here. Yeah, I have a ton of shells on my um, gallery, feel free. Yeah, I'm pretty sure James built all of them. As far as I know, he built all of them. Uh, check out my gallery, Simmerkey123. You can use any shell that you want, furnish it, do whatever you want with it. Or if you want to do the tiny shell challenge, I built one for you. Uh, we'll be touring these towards the end of the month. Yeah, I'm pretty sure James did them all. There you go. Hashtag Simmerky Tiny Shell if you want to do that one. All right, next we have the Grimtooth Bar and Bunker. James working overtime. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like I said, he's like, he's like the Sim, the ultimate Sims fan guru. Usually download houses from the gallery that are made to decorate more your style. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. You wish you're good at it. I'm sure you're good at it. All right, let's see. There it is, there's the bus bar. So this is a separate piece from the bar, but you can put them together to make this. Love how they did that, oh my gosh. So cool, I don't know if that's a debug object, probably not, maybe. And then we have the new bonfire. Ooh, a lot, oh my God, look at the tire chairs. They like, they like sewed seating into them. <laughs> <laughs> no macy what happened all aboard the party bus this roof my god this is probably the coolest thing i've ever seen the sims do <gasps> and then we have the band room oh my gosh this would have been a great opportunity to add drums i don't know why they didn't add drums you could also use a bus as a shelter for beds according to the gurus on twitter we have to do rags to riches we have to do rags to riches oh they were moving in an explorer well yeah don't they have edge now anyway oh and what's this 
They stopped supporting it today. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a little outhouse. Super cool. And then what's, oh, this is the, uh, the underground bunker. Ooh, I didn't know that was on this lot. Man, look how good that is. Oh, the talent. The talent. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love this green color. And then these are the portals. So you can basically click on these and learn the werewolf lore. And the more you learn, you can actually teleport across the map. And you can even put one of those in like the vampire world and teleport into the vampire world. So cool. Oh, man. Seriously. Oh, he's so talented. So cool. Sims could never, like literally. <laughs> Sims could never. James for Sim Guru. <laughs> that looks so good. Man, I love, I'm love, I, 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 don't, I still don't like how the werewolves look, but I love the pack regardless. Ugh. So good. You thought they were locking up werewolves for the full moon. I mean, you could do whatever you want. Cool. All right. Any more lots we can check out? The pack. Yeah, the pack is great. Other than the way the werewolves look. <laughs> Some Guru James. Sim Guru Sim Supply. Hi, Nim. Welcome back. It's going good. We're about to look at the build buy stuff. I think this is the last lot. Oh, I'm not going to. Oh, I can click on it. It's the last lot. It's just a little empty lot with trees. So you can put stuff on there. Or just leave it empty. And then we're going to go look at all the build buy stuff. There we go. Man, this world is so pretty. Sim Guru Smudge. Like, look at the world. I love it. It's like an old lumber yard. <laughs> 